Hey guys, welcome to Kiwi's Para Explore. <laughs> um, so today we have come over to Nunhead Cemetery. Uh, I was just looking up places to visit because obviously I haven't been out for a couple of weeks. As you've known, there's not been any videos for the last few weeks. So yeah, we're here. That's the chapel behind us. Uh, I have got a little bit of a read up on there, so make sure you pause that and read it if you want to know the history. I'll read a little bit of history to you now. Just sort me camera out. Uh, but this place is absolutely huge. It goes for miles. It goes that way for miles. There's two ways to go that way. You've got place, you've got a walkway that goes down there. You've got another one down there. It's it's huge. The place is huge. And they've got these really big tombs. They've got some down there. They go all around this main walkway and around the chapel area. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read the history. So, Nunhead Cemetery is one of the uh, one of seven great uh, commercial Victorian cemeteries established in a ring around the outskirts of London when the city churchyards became unhealthily full. Oh, lots of mud, yeah. <laughs> uh, at the time, the cemetery opened in 1840 and Nunhead was a small hamlet surrounded by market gardens and open fields. Um, let me just base you here for a second. Woo, slipping. That's better. I can concentrate now. Uh, and open fields. Nunhead, yeah, where are we? Nunhead Hill is uh, the site chosen for the cemetery, rises to 200 feet above sea level at its highest point and affords extensive views over the city of London and St Paul's is one direction and towards the North Downs is the other. So I'll put some more read-ups uh, and history in my description below so you guys can go and read in your own time. But yeah, I'm going to put the necrophonic on in a bit. We're just having a little wander around and a look. So yeah, um, it's just amazing. We haven't been out for ages, so I thought, why not? Why not? We'll come over, we'll do a bit of uh, a cemetery. There's actually another one nearby as well, which we might come back and check out another time. But yeah, this, this place is huge. And even over in all the like, greenery and muck over there, they're just buried. They're everywhere. Um, Alexander John Hutchings. Hannah Hutchins, Alexander John Hutchins. Yeah, they're just big vaults. They're massive, absolutely massive. But yeah, so we're going to show you guys around. Hopefully, you enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, I'll get cracking on with the necrophonic very soon. Be my ears as always. Okay, so we're at the top now. There's a little section just there that wanders off down a little path. Again, loads of vaults. Vaults here. All in the bramble, there's t uh, tombstones. Um, all the way up here, you've got vault after vault after vault. You've got Robert Joseph Nichols, um, family uh, grave no. of Hartwell Horn. It just goes on, and there's more here. And Maria, Thomas Butler. John Hunt. It's hard to see some of them, eh? Hello. <laughs> Make a little friend. But yeah, you can see up here, look, there's loads up here. Let's check up there. We're going to go up these little steps. Hopefully I don't hurt my knee. Still sore from when I sprained it back in April, May time. Oh wow, I've just seen like a mausoleum. Okay. Charlotte Peachy. Henry Parrot, I think that is Parrot. Uh, whoa, hold on, guys. But you can see it's just it's just a mess up here with like loads of graves. I can't wait to put the necrophonic on. I swear. I mean, I've heard something walking behind us just now on that path that I showed you. I thought someone was coming up with a dog, no one behind us. Um, I got a bit chilly just now. Yeah, it's just, look. 
Look at that one. Wow. And this one, like the praying angel. I think that's Alice. Yeah, and obviously the path obviously will go back down to the other one that I said. But yeah, it just it just goes on. Okay guys, so this is where I'm gonna stop and do the necrophonic. Uh, just because it's the wall, it's handier to put my camera on there. Uh, so here is the memorial, <clears throat> 1914 to 1918. Here are buried 266 servicemen who died in the service of their country. Their names are inscribed on the memorial erected um, near the Limeford Road entrance to this cemetery. So, so I'm all set up and ready to put the necrophonic on now. You get so many people walking back and forth around this cemetery. It's absolutely huge, but so many people here. Like the car park outside is like full of cars. Uh, there's a man walking past now, but I don't care. I'm doing my thing. I'm gonna get on with it. So be my ears in case I miss anything or mishear anything. You can let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Remember to be quiet because I need to hear. I'm with the aeroplane. Shut up! <laughs> hey, spirits. I swear it's a hay right after. Yes. Would you like to communicate with me? I'm not here to harm, I'm only here to communicate. How many of you are here? Is there more than five of you here right now? Ten? Is there ten of you here? Can you tell me your names? Tell me your name so I can say hello. My name's Melissa. I'm also known as Kiwi. Can you say one of my names? Zach, can you turn that down? <coughs> it's just because it comes out loud on the uh, camera. Right. Are 266 servicemen buried here? Was you a young man when you died? Was you a teenager? Hello. Hi, doggy. A knocking noise behind us. Was there someone following us when we first come into the cemetery? I heard like it sounded like someone was walking behind us. I thought someone was coming with a dog, but there was no one there. So. Oh. 
I don't know. It's a big open wide scravelly path, so. And then I felt cold just before I started uh, the live on Instagram. I felt cold twice. Was there someone around me? Who was following me? Was it a man? I sounded quite spooky then, that first bit. <laughs> Oh, and there's a couple coming. Yes. Was there a female following me? Can you tell me how you died? How did you pass away? And more people coming. Do you get lonely here? Could be a mixed answer there. Some say like this. Woman say like no. Two people, three people coming I will try another section in a minute to do the necrophone. I want to do it up by the chapel. So stay tuned, stay with me. <clears throat> Gets noisy in the dogs. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. He's looking at you like, hey. You can see him. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, they've gone. I'm waiting for the people to go past. So. Um, yeah, I haven't got COVID. I'm not ill. I choked on my bowl of shreddies yesterday, and um, it made me cough really hard. So it's like irritated the throat. So I'm not ill or anything. Do you go in the chapel? Hello, spirits. Would you like me to go near the chapel? Are there any children here? Young. Young. Young something. Oh, there's children buried here that were alive during the war. Oh, it's your turn. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Right, if you want to carry on chatting to me, then uh, follow me over to the chapel because that's where I'm going to go now, guys. So I shall see you in a minute. So we're at the back of the chapel with the door. You can see that. Can you tell me your name? My name's Melissa, also known as Kiwi. I'm going to sit down this stone. Oops. 
so you don't have to look at my ugly mug. Can you tell me your name? Do you have a family vault here? Do you like the chapel building, the ruin? Keeps up on the roof. Can't see it, but loads of them up there. Oh, my leg. <coughs> Are you buried near the chapel? Are you, are you trapped? Yeah. Do you need help crossing over? Girl. Girl. Can you see me? Yes. Are you near me? I hate that noise. <laughs> Where are you? Are you in front of me? Are you to my side or are you behind me? The right? Are you standing to my right? Are you standing to my left? Are you in front of me? What position am I in? Am I standing, crouching or laying down? Was you scared during the war? Did you go and fight in the war? Peace now. Are you with loved ones now? Okay. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of people coming through. Um, so, spirits, can you say goodbye for me? What? 
Whoa. Would you like me to come back another time and speak to you? I'll actually bring Dave here, it's quite a cool place. So me and Dave will come here. Dave, you're coming. <laughs> and we'll do a better investigation. It was just my first day out, so. Um, to, for doing paranormal, you know, like, haven't done it for ages, I haven't made a video. At one point I was sort of a bit low, not mentally wanting to go out and sort of do the paranormal stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's probably going to be a little bit of a long one, but um, hopefully you enjoy it anyway. And uh, thank you to those that jumped on my Insta Live. If you want to go and watch it, it's over on my Insta channel, which is Kiwis underscore Parexplore. So then go follow me on there if you are new. I post a lot of photos and stuff from places. So yeah, it's out from me. It's out from the chapel. <laughs> and it's out from the kids. So hit that subscribe if you're new. Smash the like for me guys if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment if you've heard anything and uh, what you thought. And if you want me and Dave to come back, they do shut the gates around four o'clock, so we wouldn't be able to come and do a night investigation, unfortunately, which actually I would love to do. But, but me and Dave around, we do get quite a bit of um, good responses from spirits, so we'll try again another time if you want us to. Anyway, speak to you later, guys. Love yous.